This film introduces the Therabyte Jaw Motion Rehabilitation System, known from here forth as the Therabyte System. It illustrates important user instructions. The film does not replace nor does it set forth the complete contents of the user manual for the Therabyte System. It is not a substitute for reviewing and understanding that important information. Therefore, before using the Therabyte System, please review the entire contents of the user manual. The user manual is available online at www.atosmedical.com. You may obtain a copy of the user manual in the USA by calling 1-800-217-0025 or sending an email to info at atosmedical.com or writing to Atos Medical AB at P.O. Box 183 SE 24222 Herbie, Sweden. In addition, copies of the user manual can be obtained from your supplier. The Therabyte system is protected by United States patents as well as by other patents and patents pending worldwide. The Therabyte system is a registered trademark owned by Atos Medical AB, Sweden. There are those among us who suffer in silence. This isn't a question of choice. For some, choice is a luxury they cannot afford. They are everyday activities we take for granted. Eating, talking, and even maintaining oral hygiene. You only know how important they are when they become hard to do. I have head and neck cancer and I suffered through, as uh, we all do, the many side effects, uh, including Trismus, which affected my lifestyle uh, in a lot of different ways. Trismus, or limited jaw motion, is a condition that can make it difficult for you to perform such simple functions. And a trismus is a condition that results in decreased range of motion and decreased function of the jaws. A number of conditions can cause trismus, and these include tumors to the jaws and the surrounding soft tissues. It could be a result of surgery for the treatment of head and neck tumors, radiation therapy to the head and neck, temporomandibular joint disorders and myofascial pain dysfunction, conditions that lead to grinding and clenching of the teeth, trauma to the temporomandibular joint as well as the facial bones, and even systemic conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, scleroderma, just to name a few. If left untreated, this condition will worsen. Clinical studies have shown that joints that do not go through their normal range of motion on a routine basis will deteriorate, what we like to term as a vicious cycle, in which breakdown of the internal joint structures as well as inflammation and fibrosis of the surrounding musculature will lead to further inflammation, pain, and trismus. Well, I was very active uh, before I had my cancer. The inability to eat and to take nutrition forecloses those wonderful pursuits and uh, affects your, your lifestyle in, in tremendously uh, negative ways. One of my hobbies is cooking, and I enjoy cooking. My wife enjoys eating, but it becomes very awkward at dinner time because she's there trying to uh, not uh, act like she's enjoying the food, knowing that I can't, uh, can't eat. So it's very awkward. He had lost power in his voice. His self-esteem was compromised by not being able to participate in the way that everybody else was participating in the world after having been such a uh, star, if you will, in communications. The simplest way to test for trismus is to try to insert three fingers between your upper and lower front teeth. If you can do this, you are probably fine. If you can only insert one or two fingers, you may have trismus. There's help out there, but sometimes you have to seek it yourself. Not everybody has a wonderful therapist like I did. I recommended to Lee the Therabyte system, which is a handheld device that works on repetitive motion and stretching of the muscles in order to maintain proper jaw alignment. 
Passive motion is when an external force is applied to the joint to move the joint through its normal range of motion rather than the muscles of the joint moving the joint through its range of motion. The benefits of passive motion is that it helps to rehabilitate the joints and connective tissue. If you have um, an injury or if you've undergone surgery or radiation therapy, what it does is it actually will prevent this formation of scar tissue. It allows more blood supply to go to the area and it actually will strengthen weaken muscles. Therabyte is actually anatomically correct and it guides the mandible or lower jaw through its normal range of motion. Using passive motion, the Therabyte system therefore helps to increase jaw opening by stretching connective tissues, mobilizing joints, and strengthening muscles across their full range of motion. The passive mobilization of the joint also helps reduce pain and inflammation. Let's take a look at this animation to show how this works. Notice the temporomandibular joint, or TMJ, and how it connects the jaw called the mandible to the temporal bone at the side of the head. Because these joints are flexible, the jaw can move smoothly up and down and side to side, enabling us to talk, chew, and yawn. Muscles attached to and surrounding the jaw joint control its position and movement. When the jaw opens, the rounded ends of the mandible, called the condyles, glide along the joint socket of the temporal bone rotating while gliding forward. The condyles slide back to their original position when the jaw closes. To keep this hinge and glide motion smooth, a soft disc, called the meniscus, lies between the condyle and the temporal bone. This disc acts as a cushion and absorbs shocks to the temporomandibular joint from chewing and other movements. The mobilization of the joint and training of the surrounding muscles in the sensitive area are important for the full range of motion of the jaw. Rehabilitation and training with Therabyte encourages this natural motion. I was using it, it was very easy, and I was uh, seeing every day, it seemed to get better and better. And after two weeks, I really sensed a significant uh, improvement in my condition. The Therabyte system consists of a jaw mobilizer with the following parts, fine adjustment knob, lever, ranged setting arm, upper and lower mouthpiece. The system also comes with four bite pads, a hand aid, 30 pieces of range of motion scale, a patient progress log, and a user manual. The Therabyte system is provided in a sealed nylon carrying bag. A pediatric version is also available for children. First, apply the replaceable bite pad by removing its paper backing and sticking the bite pad on the mouthpiece. Apply pressure with your thumb to ensure initial adhesion to the mouthpieces. The pressure and warmth from your thumb make the bite pads tackier. To enhance adhesion, leave them on overnight. Bite pads can be stacked to fit the patient's needs and trimmed to protect selected teeth. The bite pads help to distribute opening forces evenly. For patients with no or limited number of teeth, an optional set of four thick bite pads for indentulous patients can be ordered separately. Insert the properly cushioned mouthpieces in between your upper and lower teeth. Squeeze the lever gently to open as wide as you comfortably can. By doing this, you can establish a static stretch or induce passive motion. Slowly release the lever allowing your mouth to close against the hand pressure. Squeeze the lever gently again and hold. Your clinician will advise you on how hard to squeeze, as well as the limits to your exercise regimen. Here, Lee uses the 777 exercise regimen. Seven stretches, each stretch held for seven seconds, performed seven times per day. Individuals who suffer from muscle and or joint pain may also benefit from a longer stretch of more than 30 seconds and a very slow opening motion. For very slow opening, the motion of the mouthpieces can be controlled by the patient via the fine adjustment knob. Loosening the screw while applying gentle pressure to the lever allows the mouthpieces to open very slowly. When the exercises are complete, simply release the lever to remove the device. 
the hand aid is another tool to help patients maintain a desired stretch. The small notch on the hand aid goes over the lever. Sliding the hand aid toward the mouth forces the lever down and the mouthpiece is apart. To release, simply slide the hand aid towards the adjustment knob. The range setting arm adjusts maximum motion in 5 mm increments. To align the range setting arm to desired position, use a pointed object, such as a pen or pencil, to push out the pin that connects the range setting arm to the lever. Align to desired position and replace the pin. Depending on the patient's need, the Therabyte system can be used without adjusting these settings. Patients can monitor their own progress by using the range of motion scale and can record their progress in the logbook that is provided with the product. Patients using the Therabyte system should consult with their clinicians at regular intervals for progress checks and program changes. Effective rehabilitation requires regular, daily exercise sessions over a period of weeks or months, depending on each patient's individual condition, as evaluated by his or her clinician, and the exercise program recommended. Following the exercise session, Use soap and water to clean the device. Rinse well. Shake off excess water and dry. Replace the bite pads if necessary. And make sure that the mouthpieces are completely dry before reusing the Therabyte system. The Therabyte system is intended for single patient use only. Do not sterilize the Therabyte system. Always handle the Therabyte system with care. The Therabyte system is simple to use and effective. It restores hope to patients, giving them control over their own treatment. In turn, it helps to regain their appetite for life and independence.